Hi everyone, welcome back to Workado for Beginners. Today we'll walk through how you can explore thousands of automations built and shared by others with the community library. Jumping into my team's workspace, you can see we currently have a project to improve our data pipeline, a ticket escalations project for support and engineering teams, and most recently we started building automations to improve how we track and manage leads for our sales team. In our lead management project, here we only have one active recipe in use. The recipe keeps the sales team informed by posting new leads from Salesforce to Slack. Right now we have registration open for an upcoming event hosted on Eventbrite, which can generate a lot of leads for our sales team. Since it's tedious to manually move every single entry from Eventbrite to Salesforce, and since the sales team wants to act immediately as leads come in rather than wait to import a CSV of attendees after the event, our team needs a recipe that automatically adds Eventbrite attendees as leads in Salesforce the moment they register. Instead of starting to build a recipe from scratch, it would be great to see how other Workato users have tackled a similar problem. And to do that, I can visit the Workato Community Library. To navigate to the Community Library from my workspace, on the left side of the screen, I can hover my mouse over the book icon and I can click straight into the community library. From here, I can browse through thousands of recipes made by other Workato users. I can search by categories such as collaboration or by departments like finance and accounting or sales and marketing. At the top, I can also search by the use case I'm looking for. So in this case, I'll search for marketing sales leads and see what comes up. And here I can finally see all the recipes built by the community. And it's broken down into two sections, collections at the top and below we have individual recipes. Now recipe collections are a group of recipes that work together to make a complete automation. And below collections, we have all the recipes shared with the community that fit my search. Each card is a recipe. And from a glance, I can see the recipe name so this recipe syncs LinkedIn leads to Marketo and Salesforce. And I can see it was made by the Solutions Demos account. And to the right, I can see one team is currently using the recipe. Now I don't really see any recipes with Eventbrite to Salesforce, so I'll change my search to specify the apps I need. So I'll search for Salesforce Eventbrite leads and see what comes up. And right off the bat, these first two recipes seem really useful. Recipes that can turn Eventbrite attendees into leads for our sales team in Salesforce. Since this sync new attendee recipe on the right has more users, it gives me a bit more confidence, so I'll click into this. And now I can see the full recipe. On the right, I can see how many recipes the account has made and a brief description of how it works. So when a new attendee is registered in Eventbrite, it will search for the lead in Salesforce. And if the lead is not present in Salesforce already, the recipe will create a new lead. And I can click into any of the steps to see more details of how it works. This recipe looks useful, so I'll bring it to my workspace so I can modify and test it. I'll click Use this recipe at the top right and select our lead management project and then I'll click Clone Recipe. And in just a few seconds, my recipe is now in the lead management project in our workspace. Now, after copying the recipe, the recipe is prompting me to test, but it's always good to double check a few things like mappings and app connections before testing. So I'll click Edit This Recipe right beneath. And it looks like there's an error here, so it's good that we didn't immediately test. And if an error pops up, it's nothing to worry about since the recipe highlights where to go to fix the issues, whether a field needs to be changed or there's a missing connection. So in this case, it's telling me that we can't run the recipe because we're missing an Eventbrite connection. And in the recipe, I can see the problem is in the trigger step here. So I'll click into the trigger step. And on the right, since we don't have an Eventbrite connection, I'll quickly connect it to our marketing team's account which I have access to in order to build this automation. I'll give this connection a meaningful name and hit connect. And I'll click allow in the pop-up to finish the connection setup. And just like that, all the red highlights and errors have been fixed. 
Now, all I have to do is customize the recipe to make sure it works for us. Back to setup, I'll change the time to pick up events to only the last hour. I'll select our organization, Workado, and I'll select the event Automation 101, which has registration open right now, so I'll use that to test. Next, I'll click into the Salesforce search step to double check the search criteria. I can see that in this action, the search is using the email from the Eventbrite trigger, which is perfect. And so finally, I'll double check the data mappings in the Create Lead step. Now, most of the mappings look okay. I just want to add data for the lead source to give the sales team some additional context. So I'll provide the Eventbrite event name. And below, I'll add data for the lead's title, which we usually capture and can be useful. All right, the recipe looks good to test. So I'll hit Save and click Test. To test, I'll open up our event Automation 101 in Eventbrite, and I'll add a sample attendee. I'll click Continue, and here I've entered Jan Baker as the attendee's name, entered the email address jan.baker at almacourtlabs.com, and her title Director of Marketing Operations, as well as the company Almacourt Labs. So I'll click Register to create the attendee, and we can see in the next page Jan is registered for the event. Now if I go to Salesforce, we can see that I have all open leads shown, but I'll filter to only show today's leads, so it's easier to check if any new leads come in. Now back in Workado, I'll click Check Now to see if the trigger catches anything. And great, it looks like the recipe trigger caught the newly registered attendee and created a lead in Salesforce. So let's check the data in the last step to see what came through. And on the right, we can see that all the attendee information came through, the name, the company, Almacourt Labs, the email, the director of marketing title, and even the lead source, Automation 101. So let's check Salesforce to see if a new lead has been created. In Salesforce, it looks like the lead hasn't shown up yet, so I'll refresh the page. And there she is. We can see Jan was created as a new lead in Salesforce. So let's check all the details as one final check by clicking her name. And from the Details tab for the lead Jan, we can see that the company title, email, and lead source have all come through from Eventbrite and are populated in Salesforce. By leveraging a recipe built by the community, I was able to automate a bottleneck in our sales team's process in just a few minutes. Visit the community library to learn from and leverage the automations built by other teams. I hope this helps, and as always, thank you for watching.